Hey everyone, it's Corey McCarthy, and thank you for tuning in. Recently, one of my viewers inquired about whether or not he could build muscle with body weight and resistance bands alone. He simply doesn't feel that he can. Now, given the situation that most of us find ourselves in at the moment, without access to a proper gym, that is, I thought this would make an excellent video topic. I want to start by saying that just because you can only use bands or body weight does not at all mean that you cannot build or at least maintain muscle. Uh, it just may take some creativity and some adjustments. Looking at pushdowns, for example, EMG data from Brett Contreras' experiments shows that band pushdowns are nearly as effective as rope and straight bar cable pushdowns at activating the long head of the triceps. And EMG data from the American Council on Exercise found that bodyweight triangle push-ups activate the triceps more than any other triceps exercise, even barbell, dumbbell, and cable exercises. And that right there is one example of an adjustment. Uh, taking, in this case, a triangle push-up hand placement over the standard hand placement. And in doing so, increasing the triceps activation even more than the close grip barbell bench press. In this case, the close grip barbell bench press loaded with 70% of one rep max, or about a 12 rep max. Furthermore, a study from 2017 found that eight weeks of body weight push-ups built just as much muscle as eight weeks of bench pressing with 40% one rep max load. Now, before anyone complains about how light 40% of one rep max is, bear in mind that research has shown that when it comes to muscle growth, load isn't as important as training to failure is. In other words, three sets of 25 to 35 reps can build just as much muscle as three sets of eight to 12 reps. And another paper from 2015 demonstrated that six rep max push-ups with resistance bands produced similar strength gains to six rep max bench pressing. Furthermore, EMG data from Brett Contreras' experiments also demonstrates that band rows performed just as well as, if not even better than, various cable and dumbbell variations for the back, traps, and biceps. And finally, band face pulls wildly outperform the standard cable version. And that's still just scratching the surface of the data that's available. So I reiterate to you that you can indeed make body weight and band resistance work for you. And let's not forget how absolutely jacked male gymnasts are from all of those bodyweight movements using rings, parallel bars, and the high bar, for instance. Or how absolutely jacked prisoners are, even in California, where I've read that weights are banned in prisons. So, what do I recommend? Well, for starters, if you cannot obtain a pair of adjustable dumbbells, then purchase a full set of quality bands, as well as a door frame pull-up bar and parallettes and or a quality calisthenics tool like the Libert Equalizer, which I actually bought recently myself. And even if you have a pair of adjustable dumbbells, those other items uh, make for nice complementary gear. Uh, and what's great about bands is that you can combine them if you need more resistance. So let's say you have a complete set of bands by Rogue. You could work with as little as 15 pounds or go as high as 775 pounds if you combine just one of each band. You can also adjust how you loop them as well as your foot placement to provide even more tension. Remember, bands offer variable resistance. And you can even combine bands with dumbbells. There are just so many possibilities, so don't be afraid to get creative. Just be smart. In other words, don't hurt yourself in the name of creativity. Um, for your convenience, I've linked to some recommended home workout gear below in the description of this video, as well as in my pinned comment. Uh, but those items are selling out very fast, so if you want them, I would strongly advise that you do not hesitate getting them. Keep in mind, lockdowns may currently last through August and there may be intermittent periods of lockdowns and or social distancing over the course of the next two or more years. So consider these tools to be an investment. Uh, plus, we can simply never know when the next disaster may strike that could prevent us from accessing a gym uh, like Hurricane Sandy did to me back in 2012, which is when I began investing in home workout gear. Furthermore, bands are fantastic for travel since they're so portable. I always pack a few with me in my luggage on any trips that I take. Um, as for how you should train at home, keep your session volume high, such as three to five sets per exercise. Also keep your training frequency high at two or three training sessions per muscle group per week, such as an upper body, lower body split. This way you can maximize both hypertrophy and strength no matter where you train. Now, if you want a structured home workout program, I've created a quick PDF that you can download for two bucks, uh, which I've linked below uh, in the description and in my pinned comment. 
This way you can get a challenging and effective home workout while also helping to fund this channel at the same time. Uh, it's also the precise workout that I am using myself right now with what basic equipment that I have at my disposal in my tiny Manhattan apartment. Though I do urge you to pick up a set of bands at the very least uh, to use with these workouts, but the program does offer exercise substitution so that you can customize to a degree based on what your equipment uh, you know, situation is like where you are, uh, should you own a bit more or, or what have you, or you just want to change things up a bit from session to session. And you can, if need be, work with just your body weight too. There is also an option for that. Just keep in mind, I designed these workouts to be basic, so uh, they're meant for use in small spaces like a city apartment. So you won't find any barbell or rack movements uh, within the program. Uh, thus, if you are fortunate enough to have a full-blown home gym setup, <laughs> then this program may be too basic for you. Also note the download just includes workouts, no diet, no supplementation, or other advice. It is really quite simple, but then again, it's only $2. And unlike other YouTubers, if you have any questions about my program, I tend to respond to comments, as most of you know. Uh, so always feel free to drop any questions below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Uh, for example, if you need clarifications on performing any of the prescribed exercises or whatnot, or should you need like further exercise substitutions, just pop those things below either on this video or another video in the future. Just make sure you give me a point of reference of what you're talking about. Anyway, uh, leave your thoughts and comments below, and don't forget to like and share this video if you found it interesting. Your interaction truly helps this channel. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe if you have not already, and press the bell button for notifications, and check back here weekly, as all three avenues will help ensure that you do not miss any new content from me. Furthermore, check out the video description for links to my products and services, as well as my affiliate links, such as Amazon and my Patreon and Subscribestar pages, and other ways that you can show your support to me and my channel if you genuinely enjoy and get use from what I provide here. That support means a whole lot. And beyond the aforementioned means, your support could also include picking up any one of my science-based training and nutrition ebooks, which can help you get results like those seen in my clients pictured here. Those ebooks are all linked below, including the new home workout PDF that I had just mentioned. Thank you all for your continued support, and thank you for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.